Pokemon Detective Pikachu came out on May 10th and is the first live action Pokemon film adapted from the Pokemon series and this is based this film is based off of the Pokemon Detective Pikachu video game available on the Nintendo 3DS and this film takes place in a city known as Rhyme City where people and Pokemon thrive and live together and when a teenager named Tim loses his father, he must work together with Pikachu to go on an adventure through Rhyme City and solve mysteries on what could have happened to his father. You guys probably don't already know this, but I am very familiar uh, with Pokemon. I gr Come on, I grew up with people around me that loved Pokemon. I grew up with Pokemon cards. I still have Pokemon cards in my room right now. I grew up playing some Pokemon games. I liked the anime. So Pokemon was a big part of me and my and my friends' childhoods. But my childhood mostly revolved around the Pokemon cards. I was more into the Pokemon cards than the games and the anime. I did really like the games and the anime. I liked them. I was familiar with them enough to really like them. Um, but the Pokemon cards, for me... I'd like, to, me and my friends would like to collect Pokemon cards, and every now and then we'd probably use them to, like, battle each other and stuff like that. But yeah, Pokemon was a big thing for me and my friends' experiences, at least during our childhood. So I was actually a little skeptical while walking into Detective Pikachu. Thank God this movie is not complete trash, because video game movies don't really have that potential of being at least good. This movie is enjoyable. I really enjoyed this movie. It really does have some fun and clever elements. Ryan Reynolds kills the role as Pikachu. He is hilarious, flat out funny, and he's probably the best thing in this movie. Justin Justice Smith is actually pretty decent in this movie as well. And seeing Pikachu and Tim just have this con connection in this film together while they have to team up, and work together in order to find out what happened to Tim's father. Their relationship is really cool, honestly. And easily the best thing about this film are the Pokemons themselves. There were a lot of Pokemons in this film that I could easily recognize. In the beginning, they had like Pokemons like you could see like Charmander walking around, Squirtle was there, Jigglypuff, Psyduck, Charizard, Bulbasaur, Greninja. And of course, how how could I forget Mewtwo? This was one of the reasons why I came to this movie. Not only because this was a Pokemon movie, but I wanted to see how Mewtwo was in this movie. Without spoiling anything, there's just something that happens in the near the ending of the movie. And it's a bit unnecessary, but it works kind of. It really does work because it ties in with the rest of the story. There were a lot of the things that this film had going for it. It was charming, it was exciting, it was fun, and the CGI worked really well for the Pokemons. And that's another thing that I was kind of concerned about. I wasn't really sure on how good the Pokemon would look in this movie. And I'm surprised, I'm happy that they look, they did the Pokemon in this, fil in this film justice. They made them feel like Pokemon. They didn't make them feel like other creatures or anything like that. They treated these creatures like Pokemon, and that's what I really appreciated, because this film is all about them. One of, my, one of my issues that I had with this movie was Justice Smith's character, and it's not his acting, but in the sort of near, near the beginning, sort of in the beginning of the movie, when Tim realizes that something could have happened to his father, that something happened to his father, you seem to notice that he really doesn't care. He's sort of almost heartless and I didn't really like how they did Tim in that in that part of the movie at least because he you you can look at him and feel like he doesn't really care it almost feels like he doesn't care about what happened to his father and that's kind of shocking because this is the main character in the movie and we're supposed to root for the main character and 
the fact that he doesn't care about his father, and especially he doesn't care about the fact that he's missing, makes us question ourselves. But Ryan Reynolds is the only thing that really does carry this film. The other things just... Are, honestly, if, if Ryan Reynolds wasn't a part of this film, the majority of this movie would have flopped, honestly. In my opinion, at least. Because I didn't really find any of the human characters really that interesting. I came mostly for the Pokemon and, and the story. But let's be honest, Pokemon is mostly... The majority of the formula of Pokemon is mostly just about training Pokemon for many battles, exciting battles. And that's another thing that I came for this movie. I wanted to see a lot of exciting battles. We did have, I did, there are really cool action sequences. There are not a lot, there, there, are, there are not really a lot of action sequences in this movie, considering this movie is called Detective Pikachu, and the majority of the movie is just trying to like solve mysteries and stuff like that. But the action sequences that are that are in this movie are really promising. And I think Pokemon fans will not be disappointed. Another issue that I had with this movie is they sort of wasted Pikachu in regards of the Pokemon using its powers in the movie. Like, Pikachu doesn't really use its his powers often in this film until the final battle of the film, usually. I mean, there's a moment in the film, and this is necessarily not even a spoiler because it's in the trailer. So, But if you haven't seen the trailer, I'm terribly sorry, but... <laughs> um... There's a moment in the film where Pikachu is battling Charizard in the arena. And it was exciting to watch. I just thought there were a few moments in that certain scene where they wasted Pikachu. Another issue that I had with this movie, and it's with Justice Smith's character again. Like I said, this is not Justice Smith's fault. The acting, His acting is not bad. It's just his, his character. I really expected this character to have some sort of development in this film. And he does, but it's only mentioned at least... He only has, like, one certain scene. And I'm not going to spoil what it is, but... It involves him sitting down with Pikachu in the city during the night. And they're having this emotional talk. And then we get to know more about Tim's family. And then I was like, okay, I like how they did that. Because in that certain scene, you can tell he cares. But in the beginning of the movie, you, you ju you're just like, he really doesn't. And I noticed that they did give him somewhat of development. I just wish they added more development to him to make you actually care about the character as much as we care about Pikachu. I also love how this film is called Pokemon Detective Pikachu and not just Detective Pikachu. Because this film revolves around all of the Pokemon. And once you watch the film, you'll understand why it revolves all the, around all the Pokemon. There are certain elements and even natural disasters that occur in this film that involve all the Pokemon in Rhyme City. And I thought the film was able to capture all the Pokemon perfectly in this film. Like I said, they feel like Pokemon and the CGI looks really incredible. But one thing, if you haven't seen this movie yet, which I'm pretty sure most of you have, but if you haven't, and if you're really excited to see this movie, and if you're expecting to walk into this film expecting a mind-blowing story that's going to be, like, the next generation of Pokemon, or, like, maybe the best Pokemon movie ever, you're not gonna get that, and you might slightly be disappointed, because Pokemon isn't necessarily a series that revolves around magnificent storytelling. It's mostly just about the Pokemon. The Pokemon series is about the Pokemon himself, themselves. It's not about people. It's about the Pokemon. It's about them battling each other. And especially people trying to catch Pokemon. To train them. That's what Pokemon is. And that's what it's always been. And you just gotta respect that. But considering this is a movie. I'd see why you would expect this to have... At least a story that you could follow up with. And yes, I was able to follow along with the story. It's just not something strong. The story isn't that strong in this film. But I was able to follow up with the story. And the elements that were happening. And the characters. Mostly the Pokemon. Because most of the characters weren't really that interesting in this film. And at the end of the movie. I'd say that I was satisfied. And I'm looking forward to see this movie again sometime. I'm going to give Pokemon Detective Pikachu a B-.
Thank you guys so much for watching this review. I am so sorry that this review was so late. I've been busy for a while. And don't worry, I'm still going to continue on the MCU movie reviews. And I will be reviewing Aladdin sometime. But I'm so happy I got to do this movie review for you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you have seen Detective Pikachu. And like I said, I'm so sorry I've got... I, I uploaded this so late, um, but if you are someone who's watching this video right now, and if you haven't seen Detective Pikachu, then I'd, I'd slightly recommend watching this movie, but especially if you're a Pokemon fan. But even if you're not a Pokemon fan, I'd recommend you watch this movie, because this movie might get you into watching and playing Pokemon. Who knows? It could be a really good start for you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this review. You guys are the best. I love every single one of you. Look forward to more reviews that will be coming very soon. And as always, I am MarioFan520, and I will see you next time. Peace out.